Mkutano wa tatu wa uongozi unaofanyika kila mwaka umewakusanyisha waajiri mbalimbali jijini Dar es Salaam machi nne na kujadili jinsi ya wanawake viongozi wanavyoweza kuimarisha makampuni wanayofanyia kazi. Katika mkutano huo uliowandaliwa na chama cha waajiri Tanzania ATE, mkurugenzi mtendaji wa benki ya Standard Chartered Sanjay Rugani alisema kuwa ili mwanamke aweze kushika nafasi za juu yeye mwenyewe anapaswa kuwa na maono ya kufika huko. If I just talk about our group, um, we are one of the few organizations that has been very bold about gender diversity, gender equality. Um, if I have to talk about our global metrics, by 2020 uh, we had made a commitment that 30% of our leadership team uh, is going to be women. It's very few organizations that can be that bold. And we made that commitment in 2018. So really excited and proud that we have hit that mark. And we have said by 2024, that will move on to 35%. Now the question will be, why not 50-50? We all need to understand that the reality this world has gone through uh, is there is no 50-50 in the world yet. And it will take this kind of events and this kind of champions and all of us to make it a 50-50 world. And trust me, that could take 100 years, that could take 200 years because the world is evolving. What is the role of women in sustainability? I think we should never be asking what's the role because the role of a leader is the role of a leader. And the role of a leader today is four things. Number one, you need to be visionary. Visionary about yourself, and visionary about your organization. The second thing is about strategy. You know, are you able to really think long term? It's not shortcuts, not two days. You know, this is five, ten years along the line. The third is really, when you have a strategy, you know, be a role model in execution. Do things right, do things timely, and make sure your customers succeed. Not you, but your customers succeed. It's also about talent, nurturing, the future talent. You really are nothing if you're not dealing with talent. And finally, it's about relevance. Relevance is the most important word uh, that should become part of leadership. You know, and a good analogy is football. Every year, even players like Ronaldo, Messi, and the likes, they start from ground zero. Even as leaders, once you close this year, your next year you start on ground zero. You have to be relevant in innovation. You have to be relevant in inspiring and you have to be relevant in reinventing yourself. Naye mkurugenzi mkuu wa CCBRT Brenda Msangi alisema kuwa katika kufikia malengo mwanamke anakutana na changamoto nyingi. Baadhi ya vikwazo hivyo ni vikwazo vya kimfumo. One is institutional barriers. And these institutional barriers they are usually hush hush, you know, they are not necessarily out there. In that sometimes they're even unconscious. Uh, yani, sorry, uh, they're not, I don't know how to put it. Yani, they're not on your face. And if it, those set of things people say, don't even think about it, it's wrong. Stereotyping, asking gender-biased questions. Even me, I'm going to lose Sasa, Brenda, kama mkrogenzi mtendaji, kama mwanamuke, sasa, kipato kichako kikiwa juu zaidi ya mme wako, hapo mapenzi ya nakuwa vipi. But if it was a male CEO, will they be asked that question? Will somebody ever dare to ask Sanjay? Sanjay, sasa, you're earning more than your wife. <laughs> eh, Mili. Eh, sasa, where, where is love? Now, I, I also dare to say, leo, asubuhi nimesikia kwenye radio, watu wanataka kusema, wanawiza, tunataka kumjua mume wa makamu wa rais. <laughs> Sijui kama tulisikia. Hello? Hello? Heshima kwa makamu wa rais. Sasa niulize, will people dare to ask that if it was a man? Tunataka kumjua ike wa. So those are the institutional barriers, the mindset barriers that we have. The other thing, barrier, another barrier is individual mindsets. Us as women as well, we have these barriers ourselves. 
Zengine tuwajifelisha. But sometimes I don't blame the woman. What is the mental map ya huyu mtoto wa kike? Huyu mtoto wa kike amezaliwa amelelewa vipi? And I always talk about this. Mtoto huyu wa kike kama amezaliwa amelelewa kwamba nafasi yake inaishiaga hapa. Huwezi ukavuka kwenda pale. Guess what? Unakutana unakuja kukutana naye huko kubwani, unampigia simu aje kukaa hapa mbele, unashangaa haji. Hello. There's a reason because the way they were configured, they 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 don't they lack confidence. Let's talk about these things. So when we are talking about these there are those cultural things ambazo zimekuwa embedded in us ambazo inabidi tuzi and do. Kwa upande wake mtafiti mkuu Repoa, Dr. Blandina Kilama alishauri kuwa sera za kazi zinazowekwa ili kumjenga mwanamke zinapaswa kutekelezwa. Pia alisema waajiri wasisite kuwawezesha wanawake kukua kwenye vipaji walivyonavyo hata kama hawatafanya kazi kwenye makampuni yao daima. When I listen to my very established uh, colleagues who are in leadership, I'm a researcher, all we do is simply research. But they say numbers don't lie. Very quickly I've recognized and this is for the members who are in the CEO round table at Ate, we keep on saying we lack women in top leadership, we lack women on your board. And with that, my small research showed me actually we lack women from the mid career, wote wanaacha all the beautiful things and solutions we've heard from the others those are the challenges that women face and our biggest task is kuhakikisha wanawake wanabaki kazini kwa sababu kama hawapo who is going to join the board who is going to become the ceo or who is going to be in the top management there's a lot of stereotyping in the energy sector um, i'm coming from energy sector and uh, we always say that uh, you know, this is male dominated industry and we've given so many excuses to have lower number of females in those areas. But I say that's just a mere excuse. And now I go straight to answer your question. Um, Songas have brought about seven females into this program. And, and, and by doing that, you know, when I came into, uh, in, in, into this position, what you need is to be surrounded by the people that can really help you. And um, I was very, very lucky because two females had already passed this program. Um, one of them in very, very critical position, Echiara, that's, that's Agata, most of you know her. And another one, very low profile lady. And, and, and I want to tell you this. You may have heard a lot, quite a lot of things about Songas, but there is one person who nothing happens technically in that company without her approval. She's the head of uh, technical engineering. She's the head of, uh, we say, tech, uh, technical engineering department. Uh, so if there's a new technology that is to be adopted into the organization, she is the first one to acquire that knowledge and she's the first one to train and adopt um, to other leaders and managers in the organization. So, I mean, this brings persons to our everyday understanding that females cannot influence. These two people are the movers. These two people are the shakers. These two people are the disruptors that we are talking about in my organization katika mkutano huo makamu wa rais Samia Suluhu Hassan aliyekuwa mgeni rasmi alishauri kuwa pamoja na kumjenga mwanamke pia kuwe na jitihada za kuwaondolea kasumba wanaume sasa nataka nisisitize kwamba pamoja na yote ya kumjenga mwanamke aweze kufikia tunapopataka waajiri vile vile lazima watambue au waitambue heshima ya mwanamke pahali pa kazi pamoja na kwamba 
Nimesema wote tumesoma sawa, tumetoka sawa na nini sawa. Lakini kwa maumbile tuko tofauti. Tuko tofauti. Changamoto nilizo nazo mimi kama mwanamke kimaumbile tofauti na za mwanamke. So mabosi walitambua hilo. Pamoja na yote. Wengine tumesha honi. Mtu anapewa kazi na matatizo yake. Yanayo muhusu na alivyo. Si mmetaka sawa wajinsia. Haya, nenda kafanya. Nenda, nenda, nenda kafanya. Sio hivyo, sio mtu. Tofauti zipo. Sisi hata siku mwenye tuambi sasa wanaume bebe ni mimba. Olwe si tutazibeba sisi. Tutazibeba sisi, waza mungu duwa katuumba sisi hivyo. Sio. Na mungu wale wafanya njini masculine mbebe za hivyo kuliko sisi. Lakini yaja kutumia brain ambayo sio masculine. Masculine. Tunakuenda sambamba. 